One thing we have definitely learned from the last few years of bike advancements is that 29ers are just massively better than anything else. Hang on, hang on. That is a massive statement, Neil. Well, kind of. But actually, I do think 29ers are well good. And I think for most people, they could be a great bike choice. I don't think it's for everyone, Neil. 27.5 is rad as well. well what about a mixed wheel size bike? 29 up front, 27.5 at the back? Yes, thanks to Kona for supplying us these new Process X rigs to show us which one's going to be faster, Neil? Oh. We're going to do a presenter challenge. All Neil right. versus Blake. So I'm riding the new Kona Process X 29. Oh, and I'm, re I'm riding the new Process X mullet. With 27.5 on the rear, 29 on the front. Process. 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 Process, Neil. <laughs> Let's take a look at the brand new Kona Process X. It's a full carbon frame with an adjustable chainstay length and wheelbase, obviously, and the ability to mix up the different size of wheels. It's a big hitter. You've got 170 mil travel up the front, thanks to the RockShox Zeb, and on the rear, you've got 161 mil of travel with a RockShox Super Deluxe Ultimate. It's a great option for riders of different sizes and riding preferences if you want a 29er to cover ground fast and be a really stable ride. You can bomb down super steep terrain, making it a little bit easier getting over the back of the bike. So maybe that 27.5 on the rear might be a good option. All right, the first thing to do is to put it against the clock. Yes. Let's do an enduro stage. Oh, yes, Neil. I've got to think 29 is going to be fast for this one. I don't think so. This way is faster downhill. Oh, he's covered ground so well. We'll see, Neil. It's all in the time. So for today's video, I'll be riding the mullet option, and Neil will be riding the 29er. We'll be setting two times down one of our favorite tracks in the Forest of Dean. Then we'll swap and put some time on each other's bikes. Let's go racing. Oh, right. <laughs> Right, my go. Sluggish at the top, super sluggish. I reckon Neil's coming any second. Oh, that was a... Uh... <laughs> you know when you get cold air, you're breathing it in, it burns your throat? Yeah. Well, that was. There's bits where you want mud tires and then you go on to hard yeah, I mean, where yeah. these are the best, but the fire road's the best. <laughs> Out of all that. A lot of mistakes. Yeah, well, let's we'll see what the times have got. Neil pipped me by just three seconds on the 29er. He did it in two minutes eleven seconds. While I did it in two minutes fourteen seconds. Let's head back to the top, swap rigs, and give it another try. Right, on the liaison, Blake, I don't think this bike's gonna climb much differently. No, I don't think so, Neil. They both climb like goats. I've got my bike in the long wheelbase. I think going 29 now, I'm gonna go for the fully stable option. I reckon that could be quite quick. Yeah. Well, I've gone for the mullet option, obviously. 29 yeah. up front, 27.5 on the rear. 
but I've put it in the shorter setting. Have you ridden a mallet bike much? I have. I did a little uh, experiment on my stride. I loved it. It felt really good going downhill. You know what? I really like it as well. I just feel like a 29 is going to be faster. It's going to be close, Neil. Ooh, I think it's going to be close. I'm nearly there. Right, it's what bikes run to. Neil, it's yes. Exactly the same bike. Exactly. Well, look at the size of that wheel compared to that one. Look at it, look at it. Miniature. It's, too, it's, like, oh, it's that big, I can't get on. Looks good, Neil. What's it like being on the fastest bike? That's hard work, but that was hard work. it was fun. <laughs> in, in the bottom, the steepest bit, it felt really good. That's where I felt like it was way more playful. The top, sure. the flat stuff felt like hard work. Uh, yeah, hard it's work muddy and, and flat. Yeah. Hard work. I felt quick. I felt quick. I felt very quick. But I feel like that's way more playful going downhill. I think it's been short asses, like ducks bottom and got short legs. <laughs> That rear wheel, yeah. and a smaller one for did us. you drag your bum at all? I did that? drag my bum. Yeah. It's just a constant reminder. There's a big wheel behind me. Well, it feels to me on that. I do it on 29s a bit, but that's, I've put it in the longest wheelbase. It doesn't feel that bad. It feels like you're in the bike. It does, yeah. It does feel like you're in. Like some, it feels like you're on top and yeah. again, shift yeah. it. Nice. Let's look at the times. Neil put in a time of two minutes, 14 seconds on the mixed wheels. And I did it in two minutes, 12 on the 29er. That means Neil and I did the same time on the mixed wheel option, and where there was only one second apart on the 29er. That's close racing. All right, Neil, I think it's, I'm, I'm fed up with your stuff, like downhill racing and wet routes and stuff. Sorry to rain. I reckon we go to a different bike park. Let's go to my neck of the woods. Sounds good to me. Yeah? I know the perfect place. Are we swapping back? Please. Neil, this is my neck of the woods bike park. Yeah. Jumps. Turns, smooth terrain, and time to get air. Right, let's hit some jumps then. Up there is some lovely ones. All those ones. How's your process feeling on my vicinity? Feels magra, actually, really So good. good, hey? Big wheels, feels fine, feels super stable. Yeah, yeah. I left it at a long wheelbase, actually. Ah. I'm going to swap it over, because it's super easy to do. I reckon that might feel quite good. I think it'll feel much better, a little bit more twitchier, a little bit more throw around me. Throw, well, feels solid, though. Feels like, you know, when you put it in the air, it goes where you want it to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's well, that? Mine, that small wheel on the rear, feel comfortable. Big one on the front, I know it's there, because it's the big rotational force. Yeah. Especially when you're throwing it around and stuff. You've not been upside down yet. Not been upside down yet, but I'm going to do that right now. Watch this. <laughs>
time aside, oh. what would you choose, mullet or 29er? I think I'd go with mullet, Neil. I think it's my type of riding, my style of bike. I can throw it around. I love bike parks and all that. Yeah, so. same. I think actually I would go with 29er. You reckon? This is more my style of bike for yeah. bombing downhill. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Uh, I do like the short wheelbase actually for throwing it around in the air. This would take quite nicely, but you could just get a second rear wheel. I can, you know, I can. I, or, you know, we're mates, we can swap. We could swap. So, I guess the only disadvantage of mullet is you're going to have to buy two different size tyres, oh, but yeah. it's not massive. Like when you get a deal, like some sort of deal where you can get two 29 well, wheels. Well, I like sticking my worn out front on the back and buying a new front tyre. You couldn't no, do you that. You couldn't do that, no. Not you could, but it, it, I don't think it'll work. No. But it wouldn't fit. No. It wouldn't fit, no, it wouldn't. <laughs> uh, let us know in the comments down below if you've ridden a mullet and if you like it. Yeah, all right. Let us know if you've got a mullet haircut as well. Yeah, thumbs up for mullet haircuts. <laughs>